What's up, everybody? Uh, we're going back here, back to some more Born and Crowns. Bring everybody over to the Duel of Wits screen because we're going to do some Duel of Wits. I love the Duel of Wits. All right, so this is going to be what's at stake here. I imagine um, if I could, I would have totally that that drum bass beat from um, Hamilton. You now for like every cabinet battle. <laughs> uh so. so the issue on the table uh i believe it's worded something like this uh in exchange for your services i'll provide an immediate boon of two cash die plus a two fun die for you to draw on a manor on the non-mosh with staff the title of sorcerer general the right to sit at my court and provide contrary counsel in private no oath of fealty needs to be honored, and exposure to other great lords is your bonus. The issue that is on the table is uh, I would prefer that you not terrorize the nobility and you treat them with respect, and as such, I'll be providing a tutor in, I think you called it savoir faire? Yeah. Uh, great access to my resources on call and the right to call me out in public. Yeah, that's, that's basically what you my, want. my I mean, my what I want is not state. those things. I want the opposite yeah. of those things. Man, maybe I should get a contract with two, yeah, two yeah. cash dice and a Sav fund. What's savoir faire mean? Savoir faire Etiquette. is being off. Um, Your mind off? Hello? No, no, no. no. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. I just I don't I don't know what savoir faire means. Savoir faire is like um a good manners and pleasant company. It's uh it's it's like acting with etiquette and uh, and sort of posh manner. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm thinking of laissez-faire, so I'm like trying to think of what savoir <laughs> would mean instead. So, okay. So okay. what what I think the the statements here is that uh, we we can I think we can cut them down to uh, just for, for brevity's sake. Uh, that AP's statement of purpose is that I agree to the contract, and my statement of purpose is I agree to let that AP agrees to a modified contract. And we have like, and I we know what what modifications we're talking about because yeah. it would yeah. take up a lot of space. Yep, that's fair. All right, I think you guys all have a bunch of cards that we can play with. Yep. So is this still happening in your office, by the oh, way. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. So we're still in the same scene. Um, or like maybe we're looking over your desk and then we're looking at the contract and you guys are like going to be like striking things off or, or not kind of stuff. Or, okay. I think, I think it's... Or maybe uh, we should I just wait and see what, what the volleys are and then... Do yeah. stuff turn to Article 3. Yeah, cool. Definitely. So is this a big deal? Is it normal? I have a belief for it. I think it's a normal one, unless we really want to get into it. I think it's a normal too. So just will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I should also note that my uh, my will just got up to six. So. Yep. Daniel. Daniel just realized that he he passed a um. Was it a difficult test? No. So uh, when when uh, I wasn't uh, uh, opposing uh, Demetrius' assuasion check, uh, he rolled five successes and then uh, re-rolled a six to get another. Which means I was rolling against obstacle six with five dice, so that's a challenging test. And that's what you needed to boost your will. Yep. Kind of feel like you're I got a, a difficult test, which I needed as well. God, the joy of this game—it's so, oh, how everything works together. It's beautiful. All right, Swan, your cards are out. True. Yeah, I just need to put my body of argument in here. Uh, oh, I can I can handle the body of argument for you. Okay, cool. In that six, case, six v um Swan, your will. Uh, five. Oh. five. All right, six v five. Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm good. Let's do this. There are precedents for who starts off here? Yeah, I, I guess um, so. It would uh, we we reveal at the same time, uh, but who who speaks first depends on what cards are on the table and exactly. who has seen. Exactly. 
So it's point first point. Um, let's look at the duel of witch sheet. Oldest uh, character one. speaks. Is it? Yep. All right. Yep. Uh, point point. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, guys. I have you on the social screen. Um, point point. Test your dueling skill. Both points are tested as usual. Yeah, so it's just a standard test for each. Basically, it's just like strength. You just both strength. do damage to each other, correct? Yep. Yeah. 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 It's a, independent, essentially. Yep. It's yep. like strength versus strength. All right. So uh, you speak your part first, AP. I think your Swan is older than Mason. Swan is thirty-one. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Mason, we've been going over this for a while. You know exactly. What it is, we have to settle here. And you know that I know what I'm talking about. I'm an expert contract negotiator. I've been doing this for years. And while you may be wise, this is at a level that you aren't prepared to act at yet. You don't have the experience in courtly manners. A military camp that I would like you to run is not the same as a mercenary camp. Only once you rise above your peasant station by service in my army for some time will you be allowed to act on your own, independent, negotiate with me on a fair playing field. I'm just afraid that this between us right here, I'm taking an unfair advantage of you. Mm. That's all I got. I got a bit wandering towards the end. I wasn't really sure. That's fine. <clears throat> I prepared my other statements better. <laughs> so, um, uh, Mason doesn't respond to what you're saying. They're making a point of their own, right? So they like yep. they sound like they're listening. They look like they're listening, but then they like muse on the text in front of them and like the, the, um, the offer on the table. And they're like, "Hmm, it says here that I must march your army with no alternate objective. That is not permissible. I must be able to set an objective of my own, lest, well, lest I be." As you be, if you are indispensed, uh, if you are, if I cannot get to you, or if you are drunk, as you have a tendency to be, I must be able to make executive decisions without consulting you. Also, it is well, it is acceptable that you get me a tutor uh, in the ways of your court, as you would have it. Really, I must insist that I be allowed to speak against you in public. It must be so that I can uh, that I can argue against you on the counts on your council, lest nothing of mat of import will be handled on the council. Uh, I think I've spoken my point. Let's roll. Boy, um, so uh, is this persuasions? What are you what are you what are you dueling with here? I'm doing persuasion, and I'm going to fork a whole bunch of stuff into it. Yeah. I am uh, doing. Well, uh, what are you forking? AP. I would okay. So this might be a stretch right here. I wanted to fork seduction, not specifically for the like personal seduction, but like yes, look at the power I'm offering you. Join me. Oh no! All right. Uh, peasant wise, court wise, and command. Cool. I'm. I think what I did was. Uh... I honestly, I don't, I don't, I think it was persuasion, although I could be per, like, I could be convinced that it was ugly truth. It's because I was like, no, it has to be this way. I didn't offer much and like, you should do this because it will be better for you. I was just like, it has to be this way or your plan will not work. Yeah, that's probably ugly truth. It's the opposite of soothing platitudes. Yeah. <laughs> and are we so rolling right. against each other's will or is it? We're rolling a uh, versus test. So yeah. actually, we're both using pointers, not versus. It's just two standard tests. Yep, they're standard tests, and they do do damage against the body of argument. They just yeah. go. I'm gonna put um, an author into this. I'm gonna fate that. You, you guys just might have just fucking both lost. Is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I know the rules for that because I just had that happen in a burning wheel game yesterday. Yep, so. we're just going to we just reduce, into that. Well, we you just, just reduce each other to zero. <laughs> so what happens is um. They both have happy. they both have to suggest a compromise in the middle. Um, and then me or you will get to suggest a third party compromise. Um and uh then they then I believe they get to choose 
like we just choose as a table which compromise. Otherwise, they have to use like the murder most foul rules. So, so here, here's what happens. Uh, I lose the I lose the duel of wits. Um, I need to make a steel test because I hesitate when you lose a duel of wits. Well, but why? But you. But I also. You lose also wits. no. So you didn't lose. You tied. No, 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 I, I only took three of him. Remember, I'm rolling Will because I'm not trained. Oh, oh right, 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 right. Yeah, you lost. All right, so you got you got beat. But, but it's we do a, have some compromise, yeah. Yeah, it's a, you took, all right, so he cleaned you out. Swan cleaned you out. Damn, oh, nice. I fucking Jesus. I don't wow. hesitate. <laughs> There's that moment where you just like. He takes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that, no, make um, this what you will like uh, how, how one reacts to this but but there's that moment Three. where you know you've won there's that moment where you're like Two. yeah i did it and mason just doesn't skip a beat they're just like i see well in that case and then they start making their like counter offer this is a compromised borderline major compromise i will right. i have it's a couple things half. i'd like to yeah, yeah but I'd it's like, like it's only this. it's only one more than half so it's really you know what i mean like depending on what it can go but Whatever you guys come up with as the result. Here is a compromise I would like to offer. Okay. Uh, you can call me Ronald in public. <laughs> you can call me out in public. You have private command of my army when I'm in dispensed. And you must be courteous to the nobles under my command. And if you want access to my resources, you need to come and ask nicely. I'm not going to be like, look, here's a giant pile of money all the time. Like, my expectation is that you need to learn some finance. All right, so you're you're arguing here that I need to be courteous to the nobles under your command. Um, but does not that others. In the... I mean, listen, members of my court are members of my court. Okay. Mostly lowborn scum. What? Um, Demetrius is the other member of my court. I'm working I mean, on it. Okay. Give it some fucking time, man. You need like 600 people in that court. Come on. What? I could have an army of 600 people. Jesus. Are you gonna settle for less than Elizabeth II? Is I that what mean, I'm doing? yeah, I am, because Elizabeth II ruled the world. Okay. Well. <laughs> I'll I let see. You, wait, listen, when I'm oh, ruling I the, the world, I can have. I know the scope of your ambition now. <laughs> ambition wise. All right, so uh, I think that's good. I think that's like that's a fine uh, compromise. Uh, you allow me to call you out, like I, I am allowed to um, to contradict you and like speak against you because if I'm not, then it's stupid. Um, my my advice is worthless. Um, you allow me to to like I can come to you and ask about like extra finances for my own endeavors, and you are receptive to it, but you won't give it granted by default. That's also okay. Um, will you concede to being courteous to the nobles under your command uh, with the understanding that my uh, my command as social general of your army is supreme and they are not to fucking give me sass when I'm uh, when with battlefield conditions more. yes good under then if, I'm okay listen if we're in a battle and someone's like you must address me as duke and a, you're full honors to just backhand that person or just burn them good alive. Yeah, I, them alive I, I, with I your magic. <laughs> I will concede to these points. Then we have a we have an accord. All right. I believe I have some cash cool. that I need to cash up for you. Yes. yes. Make your cash. Can I help? Uh oh. Of course you want to help. Maybe Mesa wants to help too to get that high obstacle. So the cash die is four, and then the fund is five. So I thought cash die was two. And fund was four. Uh, it's two cash die though. I would love to assist. Oh. Two, the cash die is doubled, so two, yeah, two for one. cash die is four. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, so I, I think the way we fictionally justify this, because I can see Mason just sitting on their hands being like, okay, cough up. But I think uh, I think what happens is that they take your word, like they take your words at face value, right? You're being like, you can't just have access to all my finances. You need to have better, like, I need to see you have better uh, better understanding of Am I taking you to the bank and giving you a lecture on economics? I think that's what Mason asks you, right? They're like, okay, if you if you insist that's how it's gonna be, then you are gonna have to like then I want you? to I want you to put your money where your mouth is. Right? I want to be like, okay, show me. So this is how cash reserves work. This is yeah. <laughs> I would I would love to make a accounting role link test into this resources to do his his taxes for him. Just be like this, uh, Mason. This is how it works. Listen, this is what you're spending money on. 
I mean, you get free dresses. Why do you need to buy other dresses? Just wear these dresses. Then you should really instruct them, right? Isn't that more instructor? Yeah, be instructor, not a. Kid I don't. Team. I mean, I don't have instructor. Uh, so in, in this case, learn it. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'll back out of this one. <laughs> cool. So, uh, yeah. I think what probably we maybe we meet you at the church bank. Well, if you, I if was, you, yeah. I was just gonna say, like, I feel like me and Swan have already like established that we have like a financial agreement. Like, I don't think it would be like that out of the question that like, you know, like Swan could like tap in, you know, it's like Swan can like use my line of credit or something like that to like help him. Oh, but if yeah. you want me no, to no, be that's there, exactly that's how fine. it's going. No, no. I, I mean, I don't need it, but surely I'll take your help just so that you can get the test on it. Right. Right. Uh, right. And I'm probably just like, listen, Mason, I'm going to tap into his line of credit. This is something we've set aside so that he can help gain debit and further, further like rewards from God down the line. Yeah, and this is how responds. this works. I think I think the the thing uh, Swan observes from Mason is that their response is something that he has said to them in the past. 10, 10, 11. Like you said something like when when Mason was initially dead broke. I was like, you need to invest like this, and this is how we like. This is uh, the the rules of influence and so on. And Mason is like, on their own initiative, pulling some strings to help you in this regard, uh, just to show they can, just to make a point. So you take a helping die from me. Perfect. I'm gonna fate the shit out of that. Uh... Oh man, I just realized I don't even need that test. I already have a challenging test. Uh, wow. Uh, that's like twelve successes. <laughs> Uh, but now I have to do the big one, the one that will actually count for me. Uh, so I have six resources. Let me just let me just micromanage this for a moment here. I think six versus five is a. Uh, I can go seven versus five, and that'll still be a difficult test. I'll do it. I'll do it on my own. All right. So you get two cash die. I believe that seven versus five is routine. Mm, I'm looking check. here. Seven oh, versus five okay. is is difficult. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this one on my own using just my own stuff. No fun dice. So if I fail this, I'm gonna get taxed. <laughs> uh, one modifier for my thingy dude here. All right. Come on, sixes. Holy shit! I got one. All right. This is where the call on comes in. It's I mean I'm gonna call on for sure. Oh fuck. Well, all right. So I have how many failed dice? One, two, three, four, five, six failed dice. Yeah, I'm gonna call on that for sure. So is call on a reroll of all dice or just traders? All traders. Uh, all traders. Okay. And it's open ended. Uh, one, two, three, four, five successes, which brings me seven versus five. So I've started a two die fund in your name. Nice. And Very I got cool. my difficult test. One day I'll get to seven resources. <laughs> so uh, in my mind, um, this like conference of um, this conference of their uh, of their stipend and the trend like the transaction of power and the formalization of the title. I think the way we would see that now, this is just my opinion. We would just see that as like Swan putting a stamp on a on a piece of paper and handing it to like a messenger being like and now this is formal right like pass these two important people down my grapevine and this is now a thing i mean there's no grapevine you are the top end of the grapevine now sorcerer general yeah but you know, you know like but what what, what happens <laughs> people is people need to know it's like a lambskin diploma with ribbons coming off of it of different colors uh and and it has like the swan family crest on it and i'm like you're a sorcerer general now, man. You're a wizard now, Harry. Yeah, it's oh, official. God. Does he get like a pin or something? Does he? Like, is there any way to like denote this? Uh, Does he get a cool well, hat? Part part of the agreement was that they start wearing Swan, Rogarvian, or uh, Army colors. Yeah. I it think maybe. probably we can get you like a gold flag pin. That's the Swan family crest. That's I uh, yeah. yeah. I think that's good. Also, I so this this would probably denote the passage of time. Uh, I think uh, like if we could we cut forward by like two days without anything significant being lost, because then that scene would be like with Mason in something tailored with your colors. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Totally fine. 
Yo, cool. I, I'm trying to upload my the the new modified version of Earning Artha. That's like really nice that I found. And Roll Twenty is just like shit in the bed. Sorry. Yeah, I can see that <laughs> on the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, so sorry for that intense money in a cutscene. Yeah, no, that's good. It's still good. All right. So I I am going to like have to dedicate some some. Uh, what what would Mason like if they were to? I think it's yeah it's it's definitely this is still like inspired loosely on Golarian. Uh, the 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 outfit they have had tailored for themselves is like very overtly sorceress. Like if you're gonna pay for it, and if you want me to wear it as like as an official of the title sorceress. Well, Henry, first off, lots, lots I want to point out the the iconic sorceress in Pathfinder is basically wearing a bikini. Oh so. yeah, not, not not iconic as in the iconics. I don't mean to dress like Sioni. <laughs> <I just, laughs> um, but yeah, like we were talking like lots of flowing cloth, uh, like. Okay. Uh, a main main color black like ma no main color red with black trim red and black yep yeah. um like lots of uh, lots of um uh, like uh, very art nouveau embroidery well now i got two members of my court demetrius if you want to come to me sometime and talk about getting paid we should probably do that <laughs> maybe I mean, next session yeah. when i have pennywise again <laughs> Yeah, I mean, mostly like as long as Demetrius never has like something. Sometime he needs money when Swan is like, no, he he basically just like he's a Sertova, he's a noble his whole life. I don't think he really like thinks about it so much. It's just like when he needed something, he had it. That's a very real thing. Yeah, like he probably didn't get paid in his job as like a court doctor so much as just being like, oh, you have just access to the family fund if you need money. Um, yeah. Okay. But yeah, he'll he'll uh, for the etiquette stuff. He'll come by at some point. Cool. Nice. So now that we have the cash fund set up, I'm thinking, AP, what's your what's your next goal? Do you want to go talk to the queen? I mean, I feel like I'd love to talk to the queen and get her assistance in like helping spruce me up for the etiquette role. Like, hey. Yeah. Hey, waifu. Not necessarily wife, but definitely waifu. Like, I haven't done this in a while, and I'd like... Oh, just basically that, like... Not to encroach on your scene. I won't. Yes. I will just... I'll just leave you with something from that last interjection, uh, in, uh, interaction with Mason, which is that as you hand them the, the piece of paper, they look at you, they, like, they nod at you with, like, a kind of, like, pomp. Like, it, it's uh, with a kind of protocol to their movement. At least in a team and they say, I will expect that tutor to be arriving shortly. Um, I'll give it, I'll give you a week. All right. And uh, I will be in, I will be in my rooms. <laughs> I just, I just like, Mason, Sorcerer General, we need to set a ground rule here. The tutor will arrive when I have it available. My intention is to have it as soon as possible, but I am a bit busy. I, I smile have, at you like in I a, have an in army a... to create, a religion to solidify, and a queen to court. I'm a little busy at the moment. In, in that case, in that case, I shall leave you with these two things. Oh boy! One, the longer you take to get me that tutor, the longer I will have to mess up your reputation. I'm two. quite aware of that. You puked on my boss. Well, I was His trying that. Guy. It was a party. It was a party. Go with that. No. And number secondly, two. Of, secondly, of course. All right. So AP, you're going to have to. So Count Ronald's actually going to get a little bit of resistance to going to go to the, go to the queen. Um, Does that mean someone's preventing me from going to her? Yeah. So they say that she's very busy right now, oh. and uh, you're going to have to basically negotiate your way in. Oh, these can I can I help out on this? Can I, are we just uh, are we flanking him? Are you him? there? I'd be Why no, no. Be I'd there? actually be interested. Is if it's like mid discussion, Ronald is like, "Oh, what is? Why am I being stopped?" And it's like a cutscene of Demetrius coming around the corner, camera following him. As Ronald's like, da, da, da. The, "Okay, it, that actually works because I was hoping to help out by knowing this fellow, like having oh. a circles test to be like, it's like Demetrius is walking down the hall. He's like, "Oh, James, why yeah. are you giving Count Ronald such a hard time?" Like, yeah. okay. Yeah, no, I, I like that. I like that idea. Okay. 
let's see that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I think it's two two guards slash functionaries. You know, like under the seneschal. Um, they're sure. like sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, the queen's not to be disturbed right now. Even uh, yeah. even for you, uh, your eminence. You know, they're very. They're like, I, I, I'm really sorry, but, you know, she asked to not be disturbed. And you, you and I both know that we, you know, she asked not to be disturbed. Not, she's not getting disturbed. You know? I have a question, Eric. Is yeah. this, like, a relationship with Laurentall thing right now? Is this the, like, she, sock on the door, buddy. Like, is oh. that what's happening here? No. No, it's like. Oh, so it's just like the court's like. She's a fucking vicious person. And if she says, you know, like, they don't. If she says something like that, it's very much like, this is not a good time. Oh, uh, I don't know if I want to push back on this one then. Oh, well, here's 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 what's fair. And this is why it's not like that. Okay. Um, you're probably around... She's probably in the map room. Okay. Oh, this is like Sertova has business. Well, then I don't care, because I got a Sertova with me, and I'm going to lie our houses anyway. It's fine. Okay. So yeah. is this where is this where Demetrius <laughs> walks by and notices the uh, the exchange? Yeah. What what's the ob look like to know these people with less circles? Um, it's probably pretty low because you you like you I think, grew up here. Um, yeah, it probably bumps up one because they're lower status than me. Yeah, that's the they're lower works. status, but you should probably <laughs> gain a die at least of some sort, of, like basically an impromptu affiliation. Or reputation, well, I, you know. I, I mean, uh, I can use my my affiliations and reputations. I'm kind of trying to get a difficult test here to advance. But, so, oh. um, <laughs> setting myself up. So I'm hoping it's at least op two, it's, or op one actually would do it for me. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm thinking it's probably op one. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna roll this as is. It's gonna have yeah. a fifty fifty chance. That uh, him I will my life. spend a point of persona just. Because I want to help out my my buddy Ronald here, yeah. and I have a, a belief on the line here. Base uh, on one. Hey, hey. Nice. hey, you got it. Yeah. So yeah, it's um, it's your it's your old pal. What's his name? What's his name? You circled his... him. Oh Tell yeah, me. good call. Um, <laughs> let's see. What's a, a properly? Um, I already named someone. Uh, let's call him. Um, Vadim. Vadim. Okay. Yeah. Vadim's Vadim's on, on guard duty. Yeah, so I think I think um Demetrius kinda like is like strolling down the hall and he sees uh the, the pair of guards and he um says uh looking good boys. Thanks for keeping us all safe. And he kinda like knocks on the, the dude's like breastplate or whatever a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um and he says um like pretends that he like just noticed Count Swan and he's like, Oh, your eminence. Whatever seems to be the problem. The deem isn't giving you a hard time, is he? I look at him like oh, No, yeah. he's not. Is he? <laughs> I'm trying not to I was to, just your grace. trying yeah. to go see your cousin, the Queen, you know. She requests been... to not be disposed. It's uh, urgent business. Yes, I'm sure it's quite Vadim, would you just do me a, a favor and See if she has a moment for his eminence. For um, me. Yeah, you're going to have to persuade him. Yeah, sure. Um, I feel like a die advantage would be appropriate. Yeah, that's hopefully uh, good, because I don't have persuasion as a skill here. Yeah, I, I, still think, <laughs> I think you would still get that bonus, because you don't have that skill, but given the fictional circumstances. Sure. In fact, I wanted to see your character sheet real quick. Um, uh, I wanted to see your. Um, well, you don't have your relationships. Uh, I have my reputation. Oh, reputation. Uh, yeah. Miracle worker. No, you have three. Di no, you should. You should factor in your three dice of House Tova here. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll take you should that. have done that last time. I didn't oh. know there was a three die. Well, yeah. for for circles, you can do it or you don't have to. But oh. if you're going to give it to me for this persuasion, because he works for us, that makes sense too. I think. Yeah. And uh, you're which... you're saying Sertova to Sertova, yeah, like yeah. you, yeah. Right. What what kind yes. of difficulty are you looking at here? I want to know. But you, you, you want need me to convince him here, so it's probably like a three. So it's probably okay. six, so it's six. <clears throat> so I could use your help for sure. All right, uh, I'll just be like, <laughs> the queen. I'm sure will have no problems expecting me 
Uh, I'm very important, don't you know? <laughs> and I'll give you my two persuasion dice from right. six persuasion. So now I'm I'm throwing uh, nine dice at an odd uh, out six here, yep. which is doable. Um, we believe. Don't have the Arthur to spend. What is the failure so, condition? Oh, good question. Um, the failure condition would be that you uh, you go th you you get acceptance, sir, but it's not a good time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. I, I I think that's the proper. Um. Yeah, it's, oh, that's a lot of ones, man. That's a lot of it's ones. Really bad. Ooh. That's really bad. Wow. That's. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Rough. Yeah, they're coming in and um. Shit, dude. You know what it is. Um, man. I hope you got a point towards learning persuasion at least. Buddy. I did. I only need two. Yeah, more you want to? All right, fine. The door opens up and you guys come in. Um, the boy. Um, what was his name again? Not Jamal. Uh, Jam Jamud. Vadim. Vadim. I was way off. Uh, v Vadim. Um, is gonna be in trouble. Starting off. Vadim. Vadim's gonna be like. You know, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, Queen Regent, uh, they, they've insisted, and, um, she has a map of Brevoy set up, uh, around some of her counselors, and it's very much like they're going over plan, like, contingency battle plans of, like, houses to get screwed over, like, during a war, uh, kind of stuff, and, um, They're wargaming, yeah. Yeah, and, and on a cursory glance, it doesn't look good for your house, Swan, um, it's so a character with the uh, with the cartography skill. I have to like just insist that this yeah, there's like a giant fucking dagger in that house. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, and at the same time, um, yeah. Uh, so she, the queen's like, f looks up. It's like, what are you doing, letting them in? Uh, you know, even like seeing seeing uh, you, Count Ronald, and uh, Demetrius. Um, Please. Please, my queen, do not blame Vadim. Demetrius insisted. <laughs> we, we are on very important business right now, and we will need a moment to speak with you about the events that to happen later today. I'm extremely busy. You need to leave at once. She starts like trying to like roll up the maps. I'm going to look to Count Swan and see if she wants me to say something. I don't know. Like, I don't know how deep I want to piss her off here. Flex have you seen how much I run, like, have you ever seen me interfere in your life? You know? In, and... fact, in fact, cousin, I have. You, you, <laughs> tread, it's like, tread care, oh yeah, well, that's because, you, that's because you fucked up. You started interfering and mucking around in things. The only time I've ever had to step into your business is when you guys make a mess. My queen. Uh, might I intercede? Here? Tread carefully. Indeed, I will. We have come to a sort of agreement, if not a union between our houses, then a sort of alliance between friends. Fuck you, Mason. Take that shit. <laughs> We're not enemies. Let him. I do let not it be very for... clear. Let, hold on. I need to be very uh, clear with you. If she interrupts you. Yes. That make there is no alliance between our houses. There is an alliance between us. Indeed. But person there could be an alliance between our oh. houses. Um, I think the counselors around her and stuff are like... And, what is... Yeah. <laughs> the union of Sertova and Rogarvia is that upon which that this country has stood upon since its founding. There is no reason for us to fight when together we are so much stronger than the Arlovskis. I want to be like, yeah, that's right. I'm not the enemy. It's the fucking snakes. The Orlovskis. Uh, <laughs> just a few moments of your time, my queen, to further cement our personal union. Mm. Shh, boy. Um, I don't think that's the right thing to say here, my friend. I don't know. I need, uh, I mean... You took I a gamble some... saying like that, but you <laughs> technically are under house manning. I know, and I'm so aware. you you come you saying that, I know they're not gonna like that at all, right? House Manning or the House queen? Manning at all? In fact, I know. they have I'm like aware. you just literally like are betraying them right now, 
right? I mean, it's not betrayed. Listen, yes, it is. Here, here was my understanding because at the House beginning Manning of the game. Is not is not in line with House Ratova. I'm aware of that, but at the beginning of the game, you said that House Manning had a shaky union of the remaining Regarvian houses. Yes, they had just managed to unite them. I intend to break that unification and make it the Swans. Okay, I think she's this going is, to come out. This she's going to come out first... and say it. I think she's going to. Okay, I think I think she's going to come out and say it and and say something to that effect. Then being like, you seem to have no respect for um your your liege lord, House Manning. Is this because he's ill? I owe respect but not fealty to the Mannings. Our alliance is shaky at best. The Regarvians need strong leadership to unite them. And Kevin has been absent of late. The support she he offers. She wants the to report... read you real quick. Hold on. She wants okay. to read you real quick. Yeah. Um, are you... When you're saying this, are you... Are you implying that you had something to do with his sickness? No. Oh, okay, you're not false hitting. Okay, never mind. Okay. No, I'm not false hitting at all. What I'm, what I'm doing is like I thought you might have when been positioning I when I asked for, for so aid, continue. he was yeah. like, "Here's a handful of dudes." And when I show up in the city, he never shows up to talk to me. We never meet once. We go to the same party together, and he doesn't talk to me. Like this guy is not doing what he's supposed to for me. Okay. And it's time for the swans to be respected. Hmm. He has a duty down the hill to me that has not been happening. So, yeah, if she wants to read me for a second, it's like, I'm super pissed. This dude is incompetent as fuck. And now he's on his deathbed. Like, it's it's swan time, baby. You and me. You and me. I don't know how to say that in medieval terms, so especially I, in front of a need, bunch no, of counselors. You need, you're going to need to, I'm not sure if it's persuade but I'd you're love for going, her to be persuaded. You need yeah. to get her. Uh, you need to assuage this because this is like a delicate political situation. I'm aware. It sounds like maybe soothing platitudes. Yeah. Please no. Please don't say soothing platitudes. Um, Persuasion, folking <laughs> etiquette. Yeah. I would. I mean, yeah. I got a couple of things I'd love to fork in. It's actually, it's it's actually etiquette. Actually, I think it's oh, the primary boy. role because I you are you She can get really upset with you, even if you're saying the truth. And I think this is like navigating. You're still treading carefully. You you know you interrupted this you know this meeting thing is it, here, and now you're like saying like I'm going to betray. Uh, my, is it ugly my truth? Lord. Then is it ugly truth? Like this is how it has to be between us. Uh, I mean, no, I, don't I guess have... no. No, I'm right, learning. Let's, let's talk about it. So I can't let, let me, I'm giving you the situ- Let me give you the consequences here, and then maybe you tell me how you want to proceed. Sure. Um, she's not. They, they're not sure they can rely on you, especially if you're willing to sell out uh, a house right there immediately. That's the thing. I'm not selling them out because we were never that too close anyway. It doesn't matter. But, that's, that's, all right. That's, that's actually, that's a good point. That's the crux of your argument, right? Yeah, Is that's that the crux of your argument. Yes. Is, Right, that's that's that might be sure. your 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 task of how you're arguing about this, but um, the point is is that they're not sure they can trust you. That's a good uh, good failure. Consequence. I mean, yeah, I went out on a limb here to to make a relationship with someone who set an assassin in our party, but yeah, all right. That's, that's I a good suppose you, to you gotta you. protect yourself. You gotta protect yourself. I understand. Now, the reason I would say ugly truth here is because you were literally like, you got to outline a complex political situation, which is what ugly truth does. Yeah. Um, uh, I think you can do this a number of different ways, and you just sort of need to pick one and then like do it that way. So you know it's, a, it's a fact about Burning Wheel that many of the skills deliberately overlap because you can then pick what is most suited to what you are doing. And it's not that... I am trying to persuade them of doing something, therefore I must use persuasion. Yeah, she's going so all right. So I would cha- love to use persuasion because that's my like main canon there. So right. so here's a couple. All right, I think that the failure the failure state here I think might actually be graduated depending on how fucking big you whiff this. Um, you're you're gonna need to do something to prove your loyalty <laughs> to the house. All right, I love the presupposition of failure, but yeah, I also does uh, that sound reasonable? I mean, yeah, like, no, I mean, I, I, I just like I have like three ways that she can like push you in a certain way, and yeah. really, it depends on the for um, for, for a frame of reference, just like for clarity between GM and player, would you like give an an idea of what one of such one such action oh, yeah. would be that only rolled one? Like, if he goes one under, what oh. what would an idea be for how he um, needs to prove? probably written written allegiance? Mm-hmm. 
proof of of non you know something that you you know you will um you're on the and line. then it's okay cool uh, and, then and like mega mega failure, mega failure mega failure would be like we're done no mega failure would be then like you you're you're a lot of talk and not a lot of action right now fucking mobilize your troops and attack them when they're weak Whoa, I'm not talking about like murdering them. I'm talking well, about fucking like, don't fail this roll then. All right. <laughs> what, um, let me help? ask what is success condition then? Well, success yeah, condition is that, that you have a nonverbal agreement that she's willing to entertain and, and pers- believe you right now. Uh, Can I expand that to the counselors in the room? Yeah, as you can well? totally change your intention here. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, my, that you're someone you can trust and like yes. get a, as an ally. Yeah. Uh, totally. That's what you're doing right now. Like you're, you're, you're putting them. a lot on the line when you're doing this, right? I know. Like I know. you're going in blind to a fucking like war council and be like, "Hold on, guys, I can help you." Like you're, you're like sell it. You're, you know, like this is a really fucking precarious situation. You're trying to convince them that it might be nice to have Ronald on their side. I know. Yeah, That's exactly like, what I'm it's a to really do. good you. point, but you gotta, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Does this make sense? Is, are yeah. things being outlined correctly? Yep. 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 Do you want help? Okay. I, I mean, absolutely, but I'm worried about you getting caught in the failure condition. Oh, yeah, dude. If you're in the failure condition, then you have to fucking be there too, man. Oh. Um, I mean, I'll take that help. What's her uh, What's her, her will look like? Her will's five last time. Yeah, I, I, I want to do it because I need to test it. <laughs> this guy's like, yeah, I need this. Yeah. Isn't this game? Oh, yeah. It's like, well, I guess I'm going to go to war, but I really need that test. <laughs> I really need that test, man. AP, I'm sorry I can't <laughs> repel from the ceiling and talk about fate, but I'm not. <laughs> So do no astrology. Oh my god. Here's the thing. With your help, I'll have seven dice. If I drop two persona in, I would have nine on a seven, which means a five would be a difficult test. This is why I was kind of asking you if if you're coming in here gunning insinuating you've already done something to the Mannings. No, I haven't. Right? Done because that would have to them. changed things a little bit how yeah. I was thinking. Um All right, this is way too important to like Risk Yo, this is a mega difficult important. test. Well, this is yeah. this is this is the bridge between now that you had a personal relationship with the queen, making something out of now it. Now it's Swan and Sertova. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in fairness, the failure condition of this sounds hilarious. So <laughs> well, it's not hilarious because you're going to war with your. I house. mean, there's going to be a poem about it's this great, later sure. called "The Swan and the Queen of Ice." Uh, but the question is, how does this poem end? All right, I, persuasion melt? plus a help die from. Uh, from my good friend Demetrius. Plus, I uh, actually call that two because I'll help you help out with suasion. Right. Um, and I think the way, because we've already seen like your argument, is that uh, Demetrius just says, um, "Do not forget, cousin. There is a higher power at play here. Remember what you saw." Swad time baby is a great catchphrase. I already just went back over. We, yeah. yeah, we um all right, yeah, so I, if you want okay. Um I'm not gonna give this to you unless you, you role play that, but if you wanted a further die to this role because of that previous thing, then you're going to have to Well, I was just gonna help with Swage. He's, oh, oh, yes, he's helping he's helping you helping. with that. Okay, never mind. All right, so that's two die there. I'd like to for etiquette, seduction, uh, oratory, lord wise, noble wise, court wise. Not seduction. All right, because I'm doing the whole court. All right, so yeah, how about the others? <laughs> yeah, you want to the whole court? <laughs> Praise <laughs> thing. Um, Fuck you guys. <laughs> no, noble wise, noble wise, and court wise all kind of makes sense here. All right. So that's um, four, five, six helping dies. Especially seven, after you 12. kind of like explain being like, you know, we have a tenuous alliance with them. They just, you know, they won, but it's like barely, um, you know, you, you know where to hit the pressure points kind of stuff. So they're like, oh, that changes our calculations, you know? Green! Oh, yeah, it's green! Fucker. It's fucking green! Oh, boy. Wow, that was real close. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do that thing where I roll another die. Well... You know, that's 15 fate. I didn't even have to um, use Persona that's a tie. on that. Uh, wait, is that just a tie? No, no, no. It, no. In, you get yeah, your no, intent? That's right, that's right. Yeah. It, it, you get your it's, intent. it's just against the odd. Hmm. <sighs> so good, AP. God damn it. That's right, counselors. It's time for the Swan Sertopa oh, Alliance. Boy. Soon it'll so be I the Rogarvian Alliance. Yeah, so I think, um, I think she kind of like 
gets close to you and says like, "Oh, Ronald, careless whisper." Yeah, your um, <laughs> your willingness to throw your allies under the bus is so endearing. You know what I mean? Like this, your 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 willingness to just. <laughs> mm. I want to wrap an arm around her shoulder and just be like, "God has appointed me." To be his trustee in this world, and the weak will not stand with us at the wall. If the Mannings are not prepared to follow the Regarvian way, then they will fall to the wayside as Swan rises. Mm-hmm. As we take to the skies, I say that instead. Bam. As you have, then you'll have your work cut out for you. I've been so busy lately anyway. What's another. <laughs> Well, and now's what I'm like. By the way, we have that thing later where I I have to announce my consortship of you, and I would really love your aid in picking out a good outfit. It's been two decades There's... since I've been in the court. <laughs> That's private Here's whisper. That's yeah. not like anyone else Here's can hear. <laughs> she she like yeah yeah, but um, she's nah. She doesn't actually. She's just not gonna tell you. All right. Okay. Oh man, I have such a good idea for like how this scene would end. Uh, in- unless you have like something to say, I'm just like picturing. No, I'm just gonna make a new clock down here. Oh fuck! Uh, it's Manning about revenge. One has one out four. I'm just <laughs> I'm just picturing like this scene ending with like uh, Swan is like looking like face to face with the queen, and Demetrius is standing like to the side, looking at both of them, almost as though he's like officiating a wedding. <laughs> and we just see we just see like the chain with the key on it, like swinging like a pendulum between them. Yeah. Okay. That's a good image. Okay. So they're ready to hey, work with you. You keep you keep setting obstacles in my path that are like, hey Arthur. You want to just betray your other dudes? And I'm like, ah, Jesus. You know what? Fine. Whatever. Betrayal. The dice love you, man. You're really good at role-playing. No one no one becomes emperor by being nice to people. That's all I have to say. Hmm. Bullshit! <laughs> Name one emperor who is nice to people. The god emperor of mankind. No, Cyrus the Great. He um, murdered how about millions Cyrus the Great. Cyrus the Great. <laughs> Cyrus the Great the, murdered probably thousands the... of people. So? Cyrus the Great. I've never even heard of this. Person. Cyrus the Great was the emperor who founded the Persian Empire. Yeah. He's, Look, you can't establish hegemony without making an omelet. Uh, he's wait. perhaps one of. He's perhaps the greatest ruler of all time. The Brought king of into kings, subjugation every course. nation without exception. Yeah. He literally but he was, was really like, good at it. Oh. God. He was the well, first person to do the. Hey, we're gonna invade you, but you can keep the local governor person over it, and I don't have to install someone. He was the one who figured that out. Who that you yeah, realize uh, people have the illusion of self governance, they toe the line a lot more. That's good because that's Ronald's plan too. Yeah, Ooh, no, like he was the first one to figure that, and he made a giant ass road network. Yeah, that's Honestly, Ronald's plan as well. Yeah, I, I think, <laughs> dude, read Xenophon. Xenophon's written by a Greek guy who got kicked out. During the um the war, read this uh, who who ended up having to go work under uh, Cyrus the Great and was like, oh my god, dude, this guy's fucking awesome. Actually, it's like uh, he was. Yeah. It starts off being like, oh, I fucking hate this. I have to be in the Persians. Oh, but, oh, this guy's legit. And uh, that's literally, it's a really good book. I, anyway, I think he is probably a great emperor, but probably not a very nice guy. I think oh, yeah. I contend that the only emperor I can think of that, by and large, did mostly nice things is probably Marcus Aurelius. He's like the only one I can think of. I can't Didn't he think of kill like... thousands of German barbarians on his northern border? And... No, no, uh, they're not. Well, I mean, I, okay. Mm. It's a fact of being an empire, being an emperor, being imperialist that you have to invade with yeah. violence other nations. Yeah, yeah, true. But I get that. all right, there is anyway. such a thing as be like observing, you know, good protocol and yeah. hu- like. Understanding of humanitarian uh, needs and so on. Plundering like, other places and... is like half of the GDP of most empires. <laughs> right? It's Listen, like, I can't afford I'm my military, on. ergo, I must plunder and steal your stuff to keep it going. Like, a, like all a I have to do. Scheme. It's a pyramid I, scheme. Just gotta show that the Mannings the are incompetent and that I deserve yeah. to rule Sorry. the Rogarvian we're, we're totally, We're totally getting... Oh, we're so Sorry. way off. Like, <laughs> as someone pointed out in chat, this is just a role for getting aid on an etiquette roll later. Yeah, I know. So we'll see. Okay, but... Um, it is spiraled consequ- out of yeah. control. 
um, just a fictional consequence of this is that eventually the Mannings are going to find out and it's going to be really bad for you. No, I mean, not if I move first. That's fair. But I'm just, I'm giving you that clock right there. If you want to find out more about it, you can work I mean, I definitely, but we're a little busy, thing. but if I get a chance in between trying to take control of the Empire, I'll, I'll go over there right. and check them out. Um, sniff their butts. Boy, I think I think before we go to break, I think the next thing we want to do a little bit is that I think you're gonna get um, a note or or uh, yeah, no, you, you're gonna get a private scroll delivered to you from a carrier swan. Oh boy. Um, that says that's signed from House Lebeda. Stop for a moment. Was there a comma in there, or is it a carrier swan? Yeah, carrier no. hyphen swan. Yeah, no, it's like it's like a messenger swan. Oh my god. <laughs> And, I'm used uh, to this. I'm used to the people sending me ironic messengers. Saying, um... So I, th- I think I think if you unroll, it has the seal of House Lebeda on it. Yep. Uh, it goes unsigned, but it says that they're interested in meeting with you uh, and your connection to the Queen Regent. Um, that we could, you know, work together on something. Uh, I sign it back like, uh, Drusilla, let's talk. Yeah. Okay. XO, XO, Ronald. Okay. <laughs> Ronnie. Away, Swan! Yeah. Okay. And then it breaks your arm. <laughs> right. It just shits everywhere. Ruins the room. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, cool. Uh, now let's go to a break. Let's go to our second break, and um, we'll come back and start working on a little bit of that. As, but maybe, maybe also um, see a little bit about Father Demetrius and stuff. All right. So we will be back again in about five minutes. Thanks, guys. Oh, boy.